coming up this week on Flog 66. Morning guys, welcome back to the Flog. It's great to have you back on another adventure. Me and Barty have just uh, launched the mighty 650 Senator in Port Nelson. And we're going to head up to Derval again and primarily we're gonna target Kingfish. It is an Arctic cold morning, probably a worse frost than Nelson today. But yeah, we've got a sou'wester coming through so it might be a bit of a shitty uh, run up top. But we'll be running about 28 knots going up there. A lot of people ask, it'll take us about an hour and a half to get up to Durville at about 28 knots. But he's just parking up the wagon and, uh, and then we're going to make our way up. But at the moment, that weather or wind is freezing. Uh, going to be a very exciting trip this one. Lots of new gear to test on this one. Uh, new lures, a uh, couple of new lures, heaps of new colours, a new rod and reel to test. But I'm not sure, probably won't see a lot of the footage guys and I might have to blur out some of the lures because they're not actually um, released yet and they won't be on the market for a few months. So I probably won't be able to show the lures or we might just not, we might just use them for a bit and then change back out to bottom ships and baku bakus. So I'm not really allowed to show you any of the new stuff. I'm just waiting on Barty, he's caught up with another mate at the top of the ramp. I'm watching him walk down the steps, it's so icy. Managed to just clear all the windows. Seriously guys, it's arctic conditions. Apparently the Kiwi Bay boat ramp was just loaded with people today. This is our first weather window in four weeks pretty much. Three to four weeks. You okay Barty? You okay? I can see you slowed down pretty quick. Alright, let's go pal. We, uh, we stopped it at the Big Blue because we were waiting on a new rod to turn up and it didn't actually turn up. And so we were waiting at the shop for the quarries to turn up and the ferries are being shut because of six metre swell going through Cook Strait. So we haven't got a new rod but we've got a new reel. Um, Barty was hungry too. So we went over to the captain's cabin and got uh, all six sausages that they had. So we had a bit of a sausage fest for Ricky. <laughs> we little fella. There's only so much sausage you can have though. I capped out at one and a half. You had a couple, didn't you, mate? Yep, I would have two. They're good saucies, though. Um, so we just load up on salt ice at Big Blue. Still don't really... Oh, our main plan's Kingies. But we're trying to work out what to do on the way up because there's going to be so many boats and all the snapper spots that we're not quite sure. Actually, we just heard that a boat, a big boat, sunk up there, up in Greville. Port Hardy. Quite, Port Hardy. Yeah. What, um... How big was it? Big. Yeah, I think well, 50 foot. 50 foot, I think he said. What happened there? Yeah. I, I have heard um, the rescue chopper said they did two water rescues up, up there. Some other boat beached themselves up there. Yeah, like they right. were sinking and they um, beached themselves. Or swam to shore. Or oh, That might have been that boat. Let's go fishing, Barty. It's a bit milder. It's kind of good going at gentlemen's hours. I was loading up, um, had a brand new Black Magic waterproof tackle tray, loaded up with all the new test lures, walking out carrying them to the boat this morning, dropped it and blew it apart. It ab absolutely ruptured a brand new one. There's no coming back from it, it is completely destroyed. It's quite a nice sou'wester coming over, Barty. Yeah, nice. We might take a bit of a hide in here, nut.
Well, we just made it up top. That was one of the most torturous trips up. It wasn't bad, but the wind was coming from every direction. Had a sou'easter out of Nelson. Then what else did we have? We had an easterly, a sou'easter, a nor'easter. Then coming up the western side of Derval, it's a, a westerly coming in here. And it just dragged out that trip. It was torture, wasn't it, buddy? So we're just rigging up now. And we're gonna have our first drop. Actually, our plans are all all over the show now with um with the wind sort of we're not sure what it's going to do today we need to look at the updated forecast we won't get reception tour in stevens passage so we won't know for a while there's quite a few boats up here i can see one two three four five six seven seven boats here i'd say that weather put a lot of people off right this is my first home with the all new stella 4000 swc oh, barty's rocking his little 2500 um, but I've gone up to the Vigor 4000 because I want to give it a bit of a test because it's the new model and I've got that on the Deluna medium heavy Damn it I didn't grease up before no. Got the new um, unlimited bad ideas vlog covers for the icy Techs too, so they look pretty cool Barty's just having a hunt for some sign now, and then hopefully we'll do our first drop Definitely a Trev we just did a couple of drops. It's really weird because they're quite big tides. Aren't they reasonably big tides? Yeah, 3.8, 3.9. Yes, so they're big tides, but there's not, not a lot of water movement. We haven't drifted more than probably 20 metres. I think, well, the problem is we've got wind and the tides will be against the other while we're going to sit the same time. Yeah. Yeah, no the sign is so thick, it's ridiculous. We thought it was snapper sign, but it's a little bit up off the bottom, so it's trees, and I've just hooked one now. And it's that distinctive little tap, tap, tap on your rod. And he hasn't really stripped any line, but he's a good size one. But the old black Baku did it, once again. Just had a chat to Brent on his uh, 620 Senator. He just got a, I think, either a 22 and a 25 pound, or one 20 to 25 pound. I'm not quite sure. That's a good size one. It's not bad, is he? Yeah. That's the first fish of the trip. Little Trev. We'll put him straight back. He's gone. Here we go. Oh, Have God. Look. look at that. Oh, my God. That's a nightmare. All right, we're going to move to another spot. All right, we did our first drop on the new spot, and we're both in. Double hookup. I don't know if you can, probably can't hear Barty's line, but that was a bit of a nightmare, actually. I'm um, trying to get the camera from the other side of the boat. Solo filming's tough work. Um, I'm starting to get a bit of ground on this guy now. Uh, maybe not. That new Stella is butter smooth. Noticed it straight away in the first run, how smooth that drag is. And that's why you pay for good gears, guys. It bloody, it's enjoyable to fish with, you know? Now the thing is, is for me and Barty not to hook each other. Mine's right over your way, dude. Yeah. Can you go over the, over mine now? Is that still rubbing? Go, yeah, over that way. Around, is that it? That's it. That's it, buddy. Oh, this is the tobacco. No, we're good. Jeez, there's some weight on this, dude. Yeah, so. you got a photo. How did we get away with that? Okay, uh, filming's gonna be terrible, guys. Double hook up. The weather's deteriorated, too. It's not good out here. How this is not going pear-shaped, I don't know. Look, mine's miles out, dude. He's gonna pop. Oh, you lost him. Oh, Barty just dropped his. What happened? Did he bust off? Oh, no, did a cooter hit you? The first fish of the trip. Oh, he's gonna be maybe 12, 13 pounds? 14 pounds, Barty? 70 centimetres long. Awesome start. Well, we've got one snapper, and we just basically have to stay in full reverse. It's pretty crappy out here. I mean, it was forecast to be three to five knots variable, and we've got a solid, probably say, 12 to 13 knots nor'wester coming in. This is not meant to come in until tomorrow, but it's pretty shitty, so we might bail and try and see what it's like on the other side. We go out and have a look around the hole. Yeah, 130 tide says here, dude. We're nearly on slack.
We just had a chat with uh, MPI. They're cruising around, just checking everyone. And we had a chat to Matt and the boys. They came up on their center console. They haven't really caught too much. Um, we're just on the change of the tide now, and we are top watering and jigging for kings. We're having a go anyway. But on this side, we've got a nor'easter party. And the other side, we've got a nor'easter. And if you're not sure on fish sizing, MPI's got an app. And you just type into the app, oh, text, to, text 9889 and just text snapper and it'll tell you all the sizes for the New Zealand. And that's anywhere, any species, text blue cod to 9889 and it'll tell you the sizes and all that sort of carry on. So handy to know. Oh, what's Ooh. that? Look at that size. I'm going there. that sign down there. Let's give it a bit more. <laughs> 22 metres. You like it? It's smooth. All right, that's the first kingy on. Uh, nice kingy. We've been casting lures and jigging for ages. And just had a good hunt round, found some sign then, Barty dropped and hooked him. He looks quite good. How big? 17, 18? I was say, could it be about 18, isn't it? Might be about 18 kilo. Butter drag. Yeah. Yeah, it's wicked. Have a go. No. <laughs> oh, can you caught and released? That was good. All fried. Mm-hmm. Over there. Yeah. It doesn't look very nice over here. No, no, no. We're just deciding on what we're going to do now. We don't want to go back for another snapper because it's pretty shitty on the western side. And we were going to live bait, seen a heap of car wire come up and bust up, and then they just disappeared. And now we're struggling to catch a car wire. But it's been alright, Barty got one good kingy anyway and gave the new reel a test. And apparently the drag is smooth. Is it real smooth? Yeah, it's good. It's real good. So that's good. It was not, it's a nice set to jig with, actually. Now we don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> Ryan from Sounds Real is out, and I think they've had a pretty good day. What's the plan, Barty? Find me a kick fish. Right, we finished with the live bait and carry on. How can we not catch a car wine? For the love of God. Right, we've moved spots now. We're going for a snapper. Get a couple of snapper and then we're probably going to head in early and we're going to try and catch some squid um, something different we're going to have a go for some squid but only that one kingy couldn't even find any car wire it's a bit of a letdown actually it's emptied up the top here though all the, all the boats are gone now pretty much i think there's only three in the passage local knowledge charters out this side fish on Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think he's a good one. Oh, it's just heavy. 
That's what you want. Hey? That's what you want. Fish on! <laughs> Whoa! It's good to get a bit of action. It's been a slow, slow day. Not bad though. It's pretty uh it's a slow start waiting on to see if that rod had turned up and never turned up. Holy Well, that was probably... How big was that snapper? Something like 13, 14 pounds. Yeah, 13, 14 pounds. We might get a few snapper and then we're... I don't know, we might head off and do the squid thing early so we can get a lay of the land or something. But it's mint out here now. Right, we are going to call it quits and go for a squid. We've, uh, it's about 10 to 5. We want to get there with plenty of light. This, this trip was more about going for a kingies and getting squid. We've got a couple of snapper anyway. But we might have a go in the morning for we'll have another go in the morning for some more. But let's go squidding. That's pretty cool. That's quite cool how that's right on the water there as well. You what? can fish off the deck, dude. Hey? You fish off the deck. Yeah, you good. <laughs> how, how mint is that? Right, we're headed back up um the inside of Derville and we're gonna try try somewhere different this day and try and get some squid. Doesn't seem to be too many on the other side, but we've heard some in here, but we've pulled up into one of the bays. Shit, it's nice in here. That water's clear too, eh? Hey? Yeah, you can see some miles. That batch there, you can actually fish off the beach, uh, straight off the, what do you call that, the deck? Yeah. On a high tide, that you're straight above the water. That is wicked. Actually, we've got a good moon too. Now, I know there's weed on the other side, Vardy. What other side? Over here, from this point around here by that boat. We'll go and have a look. Is it any better with the deck light on? No. Yeah, we want all lights on if we decide to go somewhere. Yes, there is like a slight weed edge here, isn't there? Yeah. That's got to be the spot right along here. Surely. That more is probably the best one to stay over the other side there. The bigger one tucked up in the bay. Yeah. Just in case the southeast comes up, we'll see Whoa, how long's that been recording? Four minutes. Well, first before that, we've just come across the other side of the bay and there's a weed line along here. We don't know anything about squid j jigging or fishing, but we're giving it a go. And, uh, Got my little black magic squid lure and I've been charging them up. Actually, we've had them in the drawer, we've had the, all the lures in the drawer of the um, bait board there. Charging them up with the UV that I put into the bait board. Barty's casting, but I think we we're probably a little bit too early. Whoa! Oh, good car. They actually cast all right, eh? Yeah. That temperature's dropped right down. Yeah. Shit, it's cold, isn't it? It's nice in here, though. Good. Right, it's just gone seven o'clock. Our squid adventure was an epic fail, wasn't it, Craig? <laughs> so we've just parked off on a mooring and uh, we're just cooking tea now. 
and it is freezing. I've got three jackets on and uh, it's, uh, I'm actually frozen through. We're cooking tea now and then we're pretty much gonna shut the doors, jump in the cabin and go to bed. So I think by about eight o'clock, we will be out cold. We'll get up in the morning and see what the weather's doing. Then maybe try and catch some more snapper. But uh, we're gonna have chicken burgers for tea tonight, then go to bed. Is it still not going very well? I think we might be out of gas on the gas cooker, but I'm not certain we've got any more. Buttering and stuff. Well, that's not good at all. Can you hear that? That's like the end of it. Can you hear what I'm yeah. <sighs> Crap. Is it still not much? No, it's gone. It's so cold that the gas. Um, what would you say, Barty? Like the gas, the bottle can't handle it or something? I don't know, I'm not a gas magician, but basically once we take it out, shake it up, put it back in, it works real good, and then uh, I think the cold's just affecting it. We get about three minutes cook time, and we've got frozen chicken burgers, so we may be having uh, vegetarian burgers, Barty said. <laughs> Pretty much anything that can go wrong generally goes wrong for us, doesn't it? Man, it is like, it's probably, would you say this is one of the coldest nights we've had? Up? Yeah, I don't even know where we've been here. No, you don't. But this is probably one of the coldest nights we've had up here. It's pretty still. Oh! Thank God for doors where they come in handy tonight. It'll be uh, nice and roasty in here this evening. What's the verdict? Craig, what's the verdict? Yep. They cooked? Yep. It's four, four hours later. Yeah. Are you 100% sure? Yep. <laughs> Perfect, Mark. Good job, mate.